Uh, hi everyone and uh, welcome back uh, to this uh, series of uh, BAO Electrical P7 Power System Engineering exam. Uh, this is a continuation of uh, a previous question I uh, solved, but it's independent of it. And as I mentioned in B7, the trend now, you have multiple small questions instead of having one long questions, but they sometimes they make the two styles. This is from May 2022, so it's after the pandemic. So in this question, which is basically, this is a typical more of an A6 uh, exam question, which will give you the open and the short circuit tests. And then they ask you to either to draw the model or to calculate something. In this question, they give you basically the open and the short circuit test parameters. And then they ask you to find the transformer efficiency at certain conditions. Okay, now just to give you a background, and I will have some link for some videos, uh, some videos about the theory of the open and the short circuit test and some other examples from other tests as well. Uh, I will put them in the, in the video description. So the open circuit test, basically we apply the rated voltage. Now this transformer is 7200 by 240 volt. So we apply the rated voltage, so we can theoretically apply this voltage or that voltage while the other side is open circuit. Now, because practically, it's easier to basically uh, uh, have a generator that can supply the low voltage than the high voltage. So usually, in practical, this is how we do it. We apply the rated voltage of the low voltage side. And that is how the manufacturer do it, actually. And in most of the examples, this is what you'll notice. And in this example, you see that, that the voltage that is applied, the rated voltage is the 240. So these tests will lead to getting the, uh, the parameters uh, referred, uh, basically, to the low voltage side. Or to the secondary. Okay. And we'll see what are those parameters uh, as, as we progress. Now, in the short circuit test, which is, this is the circuit here, you short circuit one side, and you apply the rated, uh, you apply the rated current. So you, you increase the voltage a little bit until you apply the rated current. In short circuit, we don't apply the rated voltage and rated current at the same time. So the voltage would be between 2 to 6% of the rated voltage. And usually we do that at basically from the high voltage side. So it's opposite. And the current, if you divide actually the 5 kV, the 5,000, divide by 7,200, which is the high voltage side, you will get around 0.69 amps. So I'm applying the right value, applying the rated current. So that is usually, so this is referred to the high voltage side, okay? So usually one, one of the parameters we calculate refer to, the, to one side and the other test is referring to the other side. Now, when you have a model, both quantities has to refer to the same side. Okay. And I will talk about this uh, as we, uh, as we uh, progress. Okay. Now, this question has a mistake. Okay. And I will point this mistake as we progress. And then I will do, tell you what I would do if I were you in the, in the test. Okay, so let's let's move on. As I said, if you want to know more about the open and the short circuit test, please go to the uh, video description and I will leave a couple of theoretical and examples. Okay, so now from the open circuit test, we can get the RC and the XM. Before that, what is the model that we are trying to build? The model that we are trying to build is this. This is representing the core of the transformer. So this is your RC and this is your JXM. And this basically represent the winding of the transformer. So we have here R equivalent and JX equivalent. Now I will use, you can use either refer to the primary or the secondary. I will use the model refer to the primary. So here will be VP and IB. So since it's referred to the primary, we have the actual primary voltage, the actually primary current. Okay, which is the 7200. This is the order of it. This is not the actual value. And here we will have A, V, S. Now A is the ratio, which is equal to 7200 divided by 240, and this will give me 30. So A, V, S, this is, will be 7200. So I'm referring everything to the high voltage side. So I have to increase the level of the voltage at the secondary comparable to basically the voltage in the primary. Now the primary voltage will not be 7200. 
okay, it would be this voltage plus the voltage drop that we talk about it here. And the current here will be basically your I uh, secondary divided by divided by A. So that is would be your uh, your current. Okay. So now let's uh, let's move on now. Okay. Now let's start from the open circuit test. You will get the RC and XM. Now how you do that? First, you find the admittance magnitude, which is the I divided by V, which is 1.53 divided by 240. And this uh, will give me 0 0.006375. Then you will find the angle theta, which is cosine inverse of the power P divided by VI, which is equal to cosine inverse of 249 divided by 240 times 1.53 and this will give me 47.3 usually the angle is more than that okay but again that's a theoretical question so it's a value we can we can live with that okay now your y will equal to the magnitude of y and minus theta because this is an admittance Okay, so this is will be equal to 0 0.006375 angle of minus 47.3, which is equal to 0 0.0043 minus J 0.0047. And this will equal to 1 over RC minus 1 over JXM. So from this, you can find your RC equal to 232.6 ohm and xm you just take the inverse of this is equal to uh, 212.8 ohms now these two are referred to the low voltage side okay now let's go for the short circuit test now your z basically is equal to v over i this is Z magnitude. Your voltage is the 317 divided by the 0.69, and this will give me 459.4 ohm. Then we'll get the theta so that we can split the Z to the real and the imaginary. So your theta is equal to cosine inverse of the power, which is 317. Sorry. Uh, 276 divided by 317 times 317 times 0 0.69 and this will give me cosine inverse of 1.26 and this has it's not defined cosine cannot be more than so that is a mistake now what should you do if I were you, I will write down this answer. I will write down that this cannot be true. And then I will just assume a value. Now, for me, the current looks a true value because this is the rated current. This voltage is a reduced voltage is are between 2 to 6% of the 7,200, which makes sense to me as well. So the only thing that is questionable is the power has to be less than that so assume i will assume a value of power that will give me a uh, cosine inverse less than one so i will say assume that the p is equal to 176 there is no base for my assumption but i want to have something so that i can solve the question for you and hopefully there will be no mistakes in your exam uh, which is will be on uh, next uh, monday okay so so now theta will be equal to cosine inverse of 176 over 317 times 0.69. This is cosine inverse of around 0.8 something, which is equal to 36.4. So your Z is equal to 459.4 angle of plus. 36.4 which is equal to 369.8 plus j to 72.6 ohms and this basically is referred 
to the high voltage side now i decided to use the model refer to the high voltage side so i will use these values as they are but i will change the rc and xm by multiplying by a square okay so basically my model now would be as such So this is your basically 369.8 J to 72.6. Now your RC will be A square RC, which is 30 square times 232.6. Okay, and this will give me 209.34 kilo ohm. Your XM will be again A square XM, which is 30 square times 212.6, and this will give me 191.52 kilo. So these are basically now your RC and your XM. And the voltage here now, because we are referring everything to the high voltage, so this is your VP. This is your IB. Now the voltage here is 7200 and we use this as an angle zero as our reference. So let's find the current I. Now the current I, we will, since we are, so the, your I is over A, we will refer it to the high voltage side. So we will use the 7200. So your I is over A will equal 7, 000, uh, 5000, the power divided by 7200 times the power factor which is 0.8 and this will give me 0.87 and of course cosine inverse of 0.8 so this will give me 0.87 angle of minus 36.9 this is your current your your vp now just a kvl is equal to 7200 angle of zero plus the current 0.87 angle of minus 36.9 times 369.8 plus j to 72.6 and this will give me a voltage of 7553.2 angle of minus 0 0.0254 volt which is almost zero okay Again, these values because I have to assume a value for the uh, for the core loss. Now it says here if we want to find the efficiency. Efficiency is equal to P out over P out plus summation of losses. Okay. So this will be your P out is basically our let me find the losses. The losses we have two losses. Okay. So we have the B core loss which is equal to vb square divided by rc so it's equal to vb square is the voltage that we just calculated 7553.2 square divided by rc which is 209.34 times 10 to power 3 and this will give me 272.5 watt and p cover is equal to I square times R equivalent, which is equal to I is equal to your 0.87 square times the 369.8 ohm, and this will give me 279.91. Now we look to these values and we look to the losses here, they are somehow close to these uh, basically. Uh, these losses but now remember this is not this was 176 but here the current was higher okay and the voltage was also higher than the rated value this is why it is a bit higher but they are in the same order of magnitude so your efficiency is equal to 5000 divided by 5000 plus 272.5 plus 279.9 times 100 this will give me times 100 Will give me 90 90 percent okay so that is a typical open and short circuit test in b7